First off, before we start this, uh, this is my Freddy Krueger meets Eminem sweater. Pretty off, I know, but I don't care. Also, thanks to HistoricShed.com for hooking me up and helping me out with a lot of these videos I'm doing, especially the real Tiny Yellow House videos with a budget. And uh, aside from that, if my voice is a little bit off, I'm running at pretty high fever right now. I've been sick for days and days and days, but we're doing this anyway. Also, before we get to the meat of the matter, July 9, 2011, RelaxShacks.com are hosting our first ever hands-on tiny shelter, tiny house workshop. Not many of those happening, or any at all in New England, at least southern New England. And uh, we're going to be doing that July 9th. All the details will be on the website. Mimi Zeiger, author, architect, and be part of it. Alex Pino from TinyHouseTalk.com, coming up from Florida to help out. Uh, Dustin Dr. Demolition Diedrichson, environmental engineer. He's going to be doing a bunch of stuff, a demonstration on salvage architecture and uh, construction and more. The Whittled Down Caravan, WhittledDown.com, will be making an appearance for an open house as well. It's going to be crazy. Lots in one day, a death wish paced day of hands-on learning. Hi, my name is Derek Diedrichson, host of Tiny Yellow House. I run RelaxShacks.com as well, author of Humble Home Simple Shacks. This will be another idea that's from that book. I have another book coming out in the future. I'll tell you more about that some other time. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about on the site, on the blog, on the vlog. A lot of things going on. We have an upcoming episode with Jay Shea for the Tiny Tumbleweed House Company. That will be coming up soon on Tiny Old House, that channel on YouTube. We also have coming up another book review episode. A lot of people have been sending me their books for review. Most recently I got from Lloyd Kahn Shelter Publications, uh, Shelter 2, which he just re-released. This book is awesome. The Barefoot Architect. It's like a Bible of uh, organic building, natural materials. Look at this book. You could knock a grown man out with a book like this. It's like 700 pages or something for like 16 bucks. Highly recommend this book. So we have a bunch of stuff in the way. We have some contests where we're giving away a ton of books um, and having a, a, a treehouse design, micro treehouse design contest. I'll be telling, uh, as I suppress a burp here, telling you about that, yeah, real classy, in the future. Right now, what I want to do is kind of continue the chronicles of uh, redneck windows, salvage material windows for sheds, forts, vacation cabins, even real houses. It is workable. The R value in a lot of cases isn't so great. Um, in that case, if you don't want to use them, it could be a giant cereal bowl. I don't know. Fill it with some Count Chocula, you're good to go. Um, so uh, this is a washing machine, a front load window for my old Frigidaire, tier, tier, no longer with us. I'm actually truly upset about that because my new machine cost me quite a bit of raha, which is Finnish for money, I believe. Probably butchering that language, English and Finnish. So uh, I'm building for Make Magazine. This isn't the actual project. It's the reveal, kind of the gag ending for an episode we're shooting coming up. And this is part of a prefabricated uh, it could be a tree house or a homeless structure. You know, in those cases, you wouldn't use a goofy facade in the face uh, that this one has. But the same principle applies. This little cabin here, what you do is you go to the store, you buy three-quarter inch plywood, buy two sheets, and you cut them at the store and make them do it. It saves a lot of time. Cut them both in half, giving you four four-by-four four sheets. And uh, it's pretty much a box you slap together. Two of the sides, though, you cut at whatever contour and curve you desire. You could keep it as a box, you'd have more room that way, but I thought it kind of looked better if you gave it a little curve. The roof piece is all made out of tough decks, that corrugated plastic stuff you can buy. You cut the sheets, and I'm going to strap a, uh, a couple on top there, so you have a lot of natural light coming into the structure. Treehouse wise, you could pre-build a platform with knee braces, and two men could easily enough lift up this whole structure after you've built it, or you could assemble it on the platform and just, you know, pop it up in a tree and you're good to go with a tree fort for the kids or a little reading nook or an escape. Of course, with 4 by 8 sheets of plywood, you can make a much bigger version of this, still prefabable if such a term exists. But with this window, I took this front loader washing machine window. You can get these at the dump, salvage yards all the time. Uh, I drill a couple holes in the bottom. You don't want any water collecting in here. You're going to caulk the heck out of this thing anyway, so it's not really going to be a problem. And uh, once you remove a lot of the unscrewable prongs here, um, like I said, apply a liberal amount of caulk. You trace, uh, you trace where you want your hole using a compass. Remember those things? Uh, remember those in high school, which you probably haven't used since. You measure the diameter here. You give it a little bit of extra space. Use your compass. Trace a circle. Drill a hole. Cut out that hole with a jigsaw. Sand it down a little bit. And then you simply, uh, after pre-drilling a couple holes, which is important, don't try to just four screws for this, you will crack the plastic or the glass, pre-drill a couple holes, making sure these holes 
miss the edges of the glass in here where it's where, where it's uh, seated, and you simply insert this window, which on sheds and, and tree houses and whatever structures your cabin in the woods, they actually look pretty cool in a 20,000 leagues under the sea, uh, Jules Verne kind of way, these little porthole style windows, and they're free. So yet another redneck window. Uh, I got a, quite a few ideas, again, all based around this kind of stuff in Humble Homes, Simple Shacks. I appreciate if you've picked up a copy of this or if you consider it, uh, if you like these videos. The book has been independent. I hand assemble them out of my basement for a long time now. Come the end of this year, because I can't keep up with orders, it will be released, re-released with tons of additional chapters through the Lions Press. Uh, so with a few remaining copies, I do have relaxshacks.com if you want to pick one up. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time here on the offshoot of Tiny Yellow House or whatever the heck I'm choosing to call it or not to call it.